In this video I'm going to cover all the feature additions and modifications to Power SDR KE9NS version 2.8 uh, since my last video and presently I am on uh, 0.271 so the first uh, modification I've made is uh, during a contest you get a lot of spots on the screen so I've kind of made it a little bit more smooth now you put your cursor over a particular um, call sign and if you uh, uh, and that one, that one timed out and it disappeared but you put put it over the call sign you right click you're gonna get a uh, QRZ page is gonna open up uh, for that particular for that particular call and if you hold your mouse and you hit control it will look at that that spot right there and it'll try to assess from the comments from the location you know what mode and, and uh, frequency if it's running split whatever it's going to try to move you to that to that spot uh, and I try to improve that if there's a lot of spots coming in you know it uh, um, it'll handle that all the spots you know coming and going on the screen like during a contest next is the CWX panel uh, I have added the ability now for F3, 4, 5, and 6 for these macros to appear down here. Right now we're in, in a digital mode, but if I switch over to a CW mode, because I've checked this override over here, these voice keyer buttons now become CW macro buttons. And uh, so now, like for F3, you know, I, I don't need this. I can either minimize this or I can just close it, whatever you want to do, but I can hit it it'll start sending it I can start and I can stop immediately with no delay I can use my key to override the macro uh, this macro here F4 is uh, a repeat timer tied to it and then there's an F5 and F6 so uh, that is what I've done for the CW portion and then uh, the next one is the bar meter uh, if you if you left click you could toggle through all the various meters you get to the bar and uh, this I've improved that look of this and when you get over S9 it turns red this has got a gradient color if you right click it'll open up this screen here and you can change that color of that bar and uh, let's see if we try to find a strong signal but uh, that's what I've done with the bar meter and uh, you can right click on there to get the menus I'm gonna scroll through back to mine and then uh, go back to signal peak so you get a, uh, a a peak needle as well as the signal needle and I right click to close the menus and uh, the next is uh, in the spotter screen I've added a watch uh, so uh, you can watch for a particular uh, either for a DX spotter or DX spot or something in the comments uh, like the word FT8 you know or just anything in particular you can watch so if you open up the spotter screen you can change this call sign where it says call sign you can highlight this and change this to something else and if that appears uh, if that comes through in one of the spots you'll uh, get a red pop-up message that you can uh, you take it right there uh, like the C the CY0S I could change it to that and uh, say CY0S so now if that happens to come up another spot you'll see that um, so maybe it'll happen before the end of this video I don't know the next one is the zoom. Uh, I've improved the zoom slider where it, it used to not keep it centered. So now if I want to jump over into here and then I want to change the zoom, I want to zoom in, you notice it'll keep you in the dead center of the pan adapter. So you won't lose it. That didn't always do that. So that is uh, um, something that I, I uh, added. Next one up here is by the key uh, cat shortcut. Uh, if you hold your mouse, you'll see the left wheel click and right click options now. The wheel click is going to open up uh, the, a manual which I'm working on. I took the last Flex Radio uh, 5000 manual and I've been improving it. It 
it's going to it obviously has features that the 3000 and the 1500 don't have but uh it's basically going to cover the whole ball of wax and i'm and i'm working on it it's not done but uh uh, I have started making changes to it, and I'll I'll keep updating it. And uh, the last is the RX split. So uh, normally, if you do a split, um, and I can right click, and it'll engage the split. And if I'm in CW mode, it it does a plus or minus one. It toggles back and forth. Uh, plus or minus one kilohertz when I'm in CW. If I'm in phone, it'll be a plus or minus five kilohertz. But anyway, this it's the split goes over to the here. But if I engage RX2, the split now moves over here. This is the way it's always been, and that's fine. And you could still use the multi RX uh, sub receiver to uh, listen, um, you know, listen to what the uh, you know what's happening on the on the uh, your transmit frequency uh, but I've added something new down here this right here for receiver 2 is another split so in this case um, I'm on, because of what we just did I'm on 40 meters band but let's say let's take it to 30 meters for the second receiver and now I'm going to engage the split and I can do the same thing I can right click uh, and if I'm in in this case CW mode I'm gonna do a plus or minus uh, one kilohertz and the phone's going to be plus or minus five but I can go up here and I can highlight uh, and I can manually move uh, the digits with the mouse wheel but uh, I, now I can run split on either one and then on the antenna if it, the reason I'm showing both antennas here is because I'm running oh and then here okay so we had a CYOS now I can click on the yellow box it'll take me right to it if that's if that spot drops off the DX um, spotter list then this window will automatically disappear otherwise it stays there I can move it wherever I want it to be on another monitor or whatever I can just close it in this case I'm just gonna close it anyways back to what I'm talking about here uh, if I open up the antenna panel and he's getting spotted all the time now um, that uh, I'm running SO2R so it allows me two different transmit antennas in this case I'm running the same transmit antenna but I can change that uh, you know make it a different transmit antenna if I want so um, right now I'm going to be transmitting for the second receiver I'm transmitting on the 30 meter band but I can move it back over here um, and I could still I can still engage a split and I can go back and forth between the two and I'll still keep the split open between them so I can go back and forth and run split on both bands. I can't run the, uh, the sub receiver though on the second receiver. Sub receiver is only for the first receiver. But uh, that's it.